Hi. The other day I was in conversation with this, this young lad, about 23 years old, who was really feeling quite anxious um, over feeling like he, he was running out of chances. That he'd left school and gone to university and had chosen the wrong course and then had switched courses, hadn't finished that course either, uh, had gone into um, a business, didn't feel that was a right fit and had now jumped to another business and wasn't feeling quite settled in that one either and, and just felt as if he used up his chances, like he was becoming unemployable and nobody would want him. And to myself, I probably smiled because trying my best to remember back when I was 23, everything did seem so serious back then. Like every step you took was a make or break, was a win or lose. And what I now realize looking back, you know, from the, from the long age that I've reached and also working with loads of clients who've, who've felt the same way, is that you never run out of chances. To believe that there is somewhere in this universe a little book that says you're only going to get this chance and this chance and this chance and then you're finished it doesn't help us and I think it's spurious anyway. We create our chances and you can endlessly recreate yourself, I believe. There's any number of examples. You know, I could have researched this before I started talking and told you about people who wrote their first books when they were 50 who were complete failures. Uh, the guy, Colonel Sanders, you know, I don't think he sold his first um, bit of chicken until he was retired. So exactly when do you run out of chances? I think probably when you run out of the belief that there's anything left for you to give. So for me, it's about believing in yourself. It's about ILOC, like it always is, having an internal locus control, where you remain responsible for your choices and also tuning your mind to looking for the opportunity in any obstacle that you face. There's always the chance of being able to create something from just about any situation that you're in. That's where your chances come from. So if you sit in a different space, not thinking you live in a finite world with only so much luck coming your way, to actually being in an infinite world where it's down to you to create the luck, then I think you'll probably find opportunities begin to seem more bountiful. And if you're feeling stuck in that way, then obviously what I'm going to recommend is go and see a cognitive therapist because sometimes it's our limiting beliefs that keep us stuck in that kind of belief system. But beliefs aren't real, they just feel that way. So why not come to see one of us and help you get rid of it?